Greetings WordPressers, Jackson here. Welcome to the channel, nice to have you as always. So the other day I introduced you to my preferred local dev environment. If you haven't seen that video, it's a must watch. It's up there and also link is in the description. And if you're not developing locally, if you're doing anything with WordPress at all, you should be. Anyway, so if you have developed this wonderful new site locally, the question is then asked, how do you take that local site and put it on your live server? Well, there's tons of plugins that will help you with that. But there's one in particular that I've been using for six, seven years even, because it comes with no limitation. It just works every time, time and time again. It's an absolute breeze to use. Oh, and it's free, of course, which is quite remarkable. It is the awesome WP Vivid plugin. Not just for migrations, by the way, it's also fantastic at backups and disaster recovery strategies. And we'll get onto that at the end. And in this WordPress tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is to use WP Vivid to migrate your local to live and also your live to local. And stay tuned for a little bonus to ensure you don't get caught out by some sneaky little URLs hanging around from the old site. Anyway, here we go. It's live to local and local to live with WP Vivid. Right then, so if you recall, we were um, making a site on our local WP setup. And look, look, we've got a finished site now. Shall we go take a look at it? Here we go. Here's our finished site, our fab local site, blog and homepage. Not much else to be fair, but it is a demo, folks. It's only a demo. So we're going to take this local site, you see dot local and put it up to here. This is our destination site, which is a completely blank install of WordPress, completely empty. We're gonna take this and stick it on there. Let's go right into the admin. This is our local site, there it is. And we're gonna to go to our plugins and you see I've already got the mighty WP Vivid installed. Here it is, absolutely wonderful, priceless, invaluable. Let's activate it. And you see, we get straight to the backup page. We're going to simply take a backup. It's going to run pretty fast. It's done. Down the bottom now, we'll go to our list of backups. That's the one we've just taken. We're going to click the download link. It takes it to the download tab. Click download. Save it to the desktop. Now, remember, we're going to this fella here. So let's get over to that tab. Lots of tabs today, folks. Now, you'll notice a lovely shade of brown here. Now, when I'm working with different sites and there's a few different ones today, it's kind of handy to change the color of the admin in the profile, makes it a little less confusing. Anyway, brown for our new empty site. Let's go to our plugins. And remember, this is on this subdomain of wpjackson.com. And you see, I've got WP Vivid already installed. Let's activate that. And we're straight to the backup page again. And we've got this upload tab. Let's go select our file from the desktop. Let's just change that to a list. That's what we just literally did. And we'll upload that. Shouldn't take too long, but I will pause slightly while that is uploading. Nearly there and we are close and it's uploaded. The upload has completed, okay, which takes us back to the backups tab. And there it is, that's our backup from our local, now on our live site, this guy here. And all you do is click restore and restore again and double check because this overwrites your site. Can I just make this perfectly clear? This will overwrite everything. Be careful. You've got to be sure and know what you're doing here. Okay, for the third time. Right, restoration is in progress. Whizzing through. I mean, it's quite a small site. I mean, clearly it's going to, you know, it's going to take a lot longer for much bigger sites. I mean, I've done this with like two, three gigs worth of site and it does take much, much longer, but this is in real time. 93% complete and we're nearly done. 97, we're rocking along here. 99 and we are done. And what you'll get here is that we will need to re-log in because remember it's overwritten your entire site. So we need the credentials of the local site. You get me? Which is a very, very, very a super unsecure password that I was using when I was developing in local. So I should go and change that. I'm not gonna do that now because this is a demo. Right, so apparently we've got a new site here. Facts have a new site. And you see, we've got the fab local site. We've got our pages. Yes. We've got our posts. Yes. Should we have a look in the front end? Nothing up my sleeves. Hard refresh and Shazam. Once more, ladies and gentlemen, 
we've got our site look blog pages home page all done and that literally is it you have moved your site from your local development environment to your destination live host easy peasy now next question how do we get a live hosted site down onto our local environment well no prizes for guessing you just do the whole thing but in complete reverse so look, here's a live site, my live site. Ooh, modern Italian fresh cuisine. You like a bit of that. So here we go. We got another little site with a, another lovely color. And what I tend to do, to be fair, is for live sites that I'm doing a lot of work on locally and or staging sites and stuff, I tend to make the actual live site red. And I know it's pretty disgusting, but it does remind you that you are working on a live site. And here we've got the WP Vivid backup installed. Let's activate that. And it's exactly the same gig. We'll take a backup. Again, not a massive site, but it might take a little bit longer because it's got a lot more to it. Rocking along should be there pretty soon. It's done. There's our backup. Let's download that. Download. We'll save that to our desktop again. My live site. Let's whiz over to our local WP. Let's create a new site. Create a new site. We'll call it from live continue preferred yes we know all about that let's get our creds in and we'll just do test at test.com doesn't really matter for this add the site it will spin that up we get our usual prompt to add our computer credentials it's, it's doing its thing adding the live site we're not going to bother with the trusting and all that stuff go and watch the other video for all that sort of stuff let's get logged in close all this up let's get a plugin add new plugin it's wp vivid again install now activate that and go to our uploads and choose our file it's on the desktop that's the one my live site open that slightly larger site then we move to the host but let's upload that obviously we're working locally so much faster same with the restore click restore and restore we're absolutely sure it's whizzing along and this is why you work locally because look how fast this is going much bigger site as well 66 83 we're nearly done racing along now just take a copy of that url 95 percent almost there stay on target and we're done okay and of course we'll get the prompt to log in again because it's the credentials from the live site let's not bother with that because we're just showing you it working we'll go to so here's my live site that's hosted here's our local url and we're done drag down a live site you're ready to work on it and that is pretty rocking now here's a little bonus ball for you if we go back to our original site that we uploaded which was that's our local that's our fab local that's actually on a live hosted domain um there's a there's a this is the bonus right this is a little catch-all process just to make sure everything's done its business now the thing is um we're going to go and add a plugin here now the thing is wp vivid is amazing it's probably one of the best backup and restore plugins out there but there is something you should do and this is the bonus go and get the better search and replace plugin install it on your newly migrated site we'll activate it and what we want to do now is we want to double check in case there are any references to the old domain and in this case it's this old domain here site with base content so let's get back to our tools and we've got better search and replace because what we're looking for is that and what we want to replace it with is let's just get that bit that part is that and if you highlight everything and if you've never used this before it, initially it ticks run as dry run really important so you can get an idea of what it plans to do and i would say at this point take a database backup 100 percent. i'm not going to because this is just a demo but you can see here that it searched through 14 tables and two cells were found that need to be updated but no changes were made well i'm happy to run with that untick dry run everything stays the same search and replace and this will replace any of those dodgy urls that might be hidden in database tables and it says now that two cells were changed and two updates were made happy day so now you can be sure that none of your links or perhaps images or something there's no hangover like i said wp vivid is amazing at doing this for you but it's just a little bit of belt and braces approach to the whole thing so yeah WP Vivid is by a country mile the best choice for migrating from local to live host, from live host to local. But as you 
probably guessed by now, WP Vivid is not just about migration. Let's go and have a look at it on, on the local site. Because look here, we've got backup, as you've seen, and we can just run backups. I mean, it is just rock solid at that. And the restore stuff, which we've just been through. But we've also got stuff like scheduling. So you can schedule backups, you know, run daily, run weekly, fortnightly, etc. There's this amazing feature, which is auto migration, which is where you could, if you've got two hosted sites, you can, without having to make any downloads or uploads, you can just plumb in the two sites together and it will just jump the site across. Super wicked. I did a video on all of this a few years back and it's all still very relative and link is in the description and upstairs as well. As with most solid backup plugins, there's remote storage and these are the ones that you get for free. Everyone uses Google Drive or Dropbox pretty much. Of course, tons of settings, debugging stuff, which is great. Logs and the key stuff is is where you do this uh, auto migration stuff. And if you have a little look on the left-hand side, you can take a database snapshot. But the other amazing feature is you can create staging sites. I mean, on the free version, they're not technically staging because you can't push the changes to the live site. But it's a brilliant way to spin up a site based on the current site if your hosting doesn't have staging or maybe you're only allowed one staging site at a time or something. Brilliant stuff. A couple of other bits and pieces there. And this is the free version, ladies and gentlemen. Like, it's absolutely free. All the stuff I've shown you so far is free. But I do want to introduce you to Pro because it has got some amazing features that are, well, a couple which are proper, proper knockout. But here we go. Free versus Pro on their own side. Right, backups. Let's have a look what's what's in Pro. Incremental backup. That's the, one of the huge ones because, you know, if it's a big site, I mean, it could be like a few hundred meg, a medium site. I mean, it could be a couple of gig if it's a monster site. Incremental means it builds it up slowly. So it only takes the changes and adds them on as a next backup kind of thing. Genius. Selective content so you can just choose what you're backing up and have rules for all of that stuff non-wordpress files so if you've got some random stuff in there you can exclude them or include them external databases that's where you've, you're actually running the database not within the environment of that host but maybe it's on a completely different ip so that's pretty cool migration stuff crash protection on pro i mean i've never actually had this fail to my recollection so yeah, bonus. Migration through cloud storage, pretty cool. So you take one of your backups and go, can you make this the site that I want to migrate over there? Very cool. Some other bits and pieces there, same as a bit like the backup. With cloud storage, you've got a few more options. Scheduling is a bit more advanced with the pro version, but includes that epic incremental backup schedule. Staging wise, well, essentially you get like a full suite of staging. You can create multiple staging sites and you can actually use the proper uh, functionality for a staging site whereby you can push stuff to the live site. Always get nervous with that, if I'm honest. Uh, and the pure pro features are rollback and tons of different options there. And this is where, where you go to update a site with new plugins or themes or stuff, it will actually offer you the opportunity to, to back up certain things before you update stuff plugins and what have you plus all of that goes to cloud storage as well then restoring the site has a few of those additional extra options and of course pure pro feature is multi-site which is awesome roles capabilities also the pro version white labeling great if you're a, an agency or you've got tons of clients and you might want to charge them for this robust security system that you can offer as an upsell as part of your maintenance package very nice. Some other advanced settings, bits and pieces. And if we're talking about pricing and maybe utilizing this platform as an upsell to any sites that you build for clients, let's have a look at this pricing. Look at this. Two sites or two domains, 49 US a year. That, my brothers and sisters, is very, very good value. But look at this, 20 bucks more, you get 10 domains for 69 bucks. And if you are incorporating this as an upsell to your clients, the sort of features this offers is like a minimum of an extra 20 bucks a month on top of their hosting plan. It is absolutely superb. And then we get onto 50 domains for 99 and 149 for unlimited. I mean, it's just bonkers. You could actually make a business out of just doing backup and disaster recovery if you just paid 149 a year. But look at the lifetime. And this is where it gets silly. 299 unlimited domains forever your entire backup and disaster recovery system is absolutely covered insanity so anyway um it wasn't about getting pro and it wasn't about the other features of wp vivid which are vast and epic it was all about migration and so now you know how to migrate your local 
to live and you're live to local. As always, links are in the description to find out more. And do let me know in the comments your views on migration, specifically local to live. And if you haven't seen that local WP vid, check it out right now. But until next time, I shall see you later. <laughs>